Governor's controversial bus expressway from Hartford to New Britain will be expanding. A recent report is showing more people than expected are using this service. Chief Capital Correspondent Mark Davis has more now on where the new CT Fast Track busway will take commuters within the next year. I definitely use it for work almost every day. Um, it's quicker than the other buses. It comes like it seems every 15 minutes. To go to the gym, to go to work. I've been on it since it started. Use it every day. It gets me to work, to and from, more convenient. Um, it's easy access. Those are just some of the more than 14,000 daily riders using Connecticut's first rapid transit bus system. That's 25% more people using CT Fast Track than the DOT predicted would be using it on weekdays after the first year. And it's been operating just a little over two months. It fits into my schedule a lot easier, a lot easier for me to get around, especially when I don't have a car. Getting people out of their cars on Interstate 84 coming into Hartford is exactly what the DOT is hoping as they plan a major rebuild of the highway in the coming decade. In proclaiming CT Fast Track a success today, the governor announced the system will be expanded to East Hartford and Manchester. East of the river service would extend access uh, to those employed at Pratt & Whitney and Goodwin College, uh, in addition to many other uh, large and small employers uh, in those two towns. In April, News 8 first reported that some users of the system were complaining that many people were not paying the fare and there was no one to enforce it. We have fare enforcement agents, we have seven of them now, and they randomly check ridership throughout the day. DOT says they are finding that about 1% of passengers are not paying, and the freeloaders are escorted out of the bus and shown the proper way to purchase fare at the kiosks at the stations. I'm Mark Davis, News 8.